Walker, you had your longest outing of the year. What allowed you to be so efficient today? Well, it's an aggressive team and, and try and mix up on OO and, and get some balls, you know, and play early and, and defense played really well. A lot of kind of hard hit balls that they made nice plays on. So, um, you know, credit to them and, and credit to Barnes. It was clear when you left, you had a little bit of frustration. What happened in that exchange there? Um, just trying to be competitive and, and thinking that I'm making pitches that, that, you know, I haven't looked at, but probably are balls. But I also thought the ball might have hit his foot. So, you know, given what happened kind of earlier in the game, I thought that we might get a conference and, and look at it similar to what happened. So um, just a little bit frustrating there at the end. And, um, you know, he told me to stop and I didn't stop. So I, I get what, what he, he did and that's his job. But, but at the end of the day, just trying to, trying to be competitive and get out of there. And I um, thought I saw it hit his foot. So. And the defense was fantastic this evening. How much confidence does that give you when you're on the mound, just knowing that all the players around you are always going to really have your back? Yeah, I mean, we talk about our depth and, and our talent, and, and everyone wants to make that about the offense and the lineup and, and our pitching. But in a lot of ways, it's it's our defense. And, and we have a lot of guys that can play a lot of positions at a high level, and, and I think we showed that tonight. Thank you, Walker. Next question is from Fabiano. Go ahead. Hey, Walker, I know we've asked you a bunch about just how deep you've been able to go into each of these starts, but also just the consistency in your results. I mean, how much pride does that give you and how much is that something that you feel is something you've grown in this year? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really have a new answer for you. It's something that that's important to me and, and important to our team. And, um, you know, I take a lot of pride in it, but at the end of the day, it's about winning games. So uh, glad, glad I was able to put us in a position to do that. And then obviously Bessie and, and Kenley coming and closing the door. And then uh, just the picture that you are now, I mean, how much do you feel like you've changed the picture you are now to sort of what you were or when you were a few years ago? I, I think I'm just not hunting the, the strikeout or, or the highlight throw or, or whatever, just trying to get guys out and, and be efficient. And uh, I think it's probably part of growing up and, and, um, you know, trying to trying to create value for, for our team and, and for myself. Thanks, Walker. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Walker with uh, DeGrom out essentially for the second half. Cy Young race is open wide open. When you're at home and not at the ballpark and you let this creep into your thoughts, what do you think about that? Bill, I, I've, I've answered it. It's not something that I really care about. I, I want us to, to win games and, and win the division and get to the playoffs and, and do what we what we did last year and, and what we set out to do every year. And, and if if I somehow put put us in a position and, and have a type of year to be in that conversation, that's great. But at the end of the day, it's about winning games and, and that's my big focus. You guys have won eight in a row now. Five of them have been one run decisions, something that was a problem earlier. Why is that turned around lately? We got a lot of guys in that the back end of the bullpen that that are, are confident and throwing the ball really well, and, and our starters are doing a good job of keeping us in games, and and obviously our offense is is what it is. So, um, you know, we got a lot of talent, and, and guys are stepping up when when they need to be. Obviously, uh, you know, there's been some talk about some of the guys in the back end of the bullpen that that didn't start the year with us that, that are coming up huge, and and Vesia and Bickford are, are two of those guys. So, um, you know, it's been big for us. Thank you. Last one's from Kerry, go ahead. Walker, from another person's perspective, it really looks like you're really being able to command all of your pitches. How would you describe your ability to command pitches now compared to maybe, you know, in the past? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily that different. I think I'm, I'm a little more focused in that direction, but, you know, growing up, that, that was kind of always how I threw and um, found some velocity after my surgery and, and kind of probably pulled me away from that a little bit and, and tried to throw, um, you know, for lack of a better term, the hell out of it every, every time I threw the ball. So trying to, you know, be at 90, 95% and, and make good pitches is, is where I'm at now and, and I'm comfortable with it. And, um, you know, we've been doing well. Thanks, Walt. Thanks, everybody.